Welcome back to episode 2 of Knighthood. Today I'm going to go through um, all the ins and outs of the game that I have found. First we are going to go up onto the top right into goals. See here we have story goals, quest goals, I'll claim those. Oops. Send that one to my vault. And then we have our daily goals. An interesting thing about daily goals, like kill five goblins, you can't auto quest to get those, and you can't auto quest to raise your, your um, hero's levels. So, I'll get into that in just a few minutes. And then we have our guild quests. So kill 20 wolves, kill 6 bears. Uh, to get these, don't auto quest, just uh, play it quickly and you'll be good, good to go. Uh, now we're going to go into our vault, which is at the bottom. I opened most of my chests, but I just got one. So we're going to open that. This is what the whole cinematic looks like, but you can actually just press the button and automatic skip. Ooh, I get a whole character. That is awesome. What do we have? And she is an epic. Nice. She is strong versus militia. I don't think I have somebody strong against Militia yet, so that is a good, good thing. Alright. So, uh, this is the guild that I am in at the moment. I don't know how long I'll be in it for, though. We have our island. We have our goals which I had already gone over with you. The info on the guild. And the roster. The roster is just other people in the guild. All right. Next, we're going to go into fame. So me versus everyone else, as well as the store. Here you can actually buy chests or get certain things like armor set deal. This one here is for chests. After a certain amount of time you get one of these for free as you can see just on the top of the chest part. And resources. It's really hard to get your diamonds in the game, your gems, so I would be careful where you spend them. Alright, let's go into our knight. So with the knight, um, what is interesting is if you see at the bottom there it says light armor bonus, I will click the exclamation mark and because I am wearing all light armor, I get a high bonus of 25% on my attack. Now what you can do is go into it, and as you can see I'm only wearing light armor, I have other armor I could wear. I'll press the, the I button, and I can level up my armor. Here it shows that I only cost 5 to level up, and I have 315, so I'm not going to break the bank. So as you can see, all of these have their own attributes, light, heavy, and magical. Uh, I would suggest only wearing them if you have enough to get a bonus, like a boost. Uh, weapons do not count in the armor boost, and it is best to use the proper weapon for the proper battle. 
So as you see, this one is good against undead, so if I'm fighting a lot more undead on the battle screen, I would pick this one before I go into battle. And the gauntlet. My gauntlet started off pretty ugly, but as you level it up, it will definitely um, look nicer. Let's go and level it up. So each um, thing that you level up could or does level up something different. So this one levels up health, this one levels up uh, punches. Now I did level up one of each because I just wanted to get everything lit up here. Now it does cost me two and I only have three. I could increase my health for health for three but uh, I do like my damage so the question is should I do my punch damage or my weapons boost damage I think punch because it gets me to my ultimate move in the end this uh, gauntlet helps me capture these um, characters our uh, minions sorry Let's go into a battle, and uh, I'll show you the specs from there. Let's see. We'll go to our world. We'll travel to this one. Let's go into a hunt battle, because it's the same as a regular battle, but I actually get more out of it. So as you can see up here, uh, they're all undead. So I want to keep the undead weapon. I have two undead uh, people that boost for attacks against undead. Now if I did press the swap button, I would click on it. And as you can see, it's not flashing green anymore because it's not going to be very great for this battle. As you can see on the top, it shows me how likely I'm able to win this battle because of what I have selected. Let's start the fight. Now, as I'm in a battle, as you can see, I have an undead weapon. I'm fighting all undead characters. So I'm just gonna slash him. And if I don't, if I move over, critical hit will keep going. Whereas if I don't move over, and I will show you that on next round. That uh, it'll just diffuse. It won't auto attack for you. You have to choose the over button to attack another monster. So. Let's see if I can't raise up this so that I have a chance to show you my ultimate attack. Let's send her off so you can see what she can do. And send her off. You can also see the hero's attacks in the main screen. When you're checking your heroes, you can either check their attacks as well as their special abilities. So now I have the glove, I'm going to go to the glove attack. The gauntlet, sorry. Um, the top one actually just does a healing attack during at this time. The bottom one is the one that does an actual attack during this time. They're kind of reverse. And uh, they do attack all the creatures when they do that attack, so... Alright, so I'm just gonna do the main attack here. I'm going to not attack for a second to show you what it, the chain broke, see? And I don't get that bonus now. Also, like I was saying before, you can attack and kill. I have a chain bonus, but it's going to break if I don't press the over button to select the character that I wanted to attack. Your chain also breaks when uh, your heroes attack. So either use them at the beginning of your turn, mostly, or preferably, as opposed to the end of your turn. There we 
go. And actually what I like to do when I'm doing an attack and I'm getting a bonus because of my weapon, usually I like to do the first two attacks with this and then switch over to the attacks with my weapon. Now I could have gotten the bonus if I just pressed the over button, but I was having fun explaining things to you guys. I press the over button, it automatically does the weapon attack, and we win the fight. Now it did take me more than six turns, so I'm not going to get the four stars. One star. As you can see the I button, you can see what it takes to get those stars. Once you get the three stars, you can do auto battle. But, like I said before, auto battle actually doesn't raise your hero's experience, so I would suggest not to do that. On a side note, let's go here. If you have heroes that you think you might want to use later, but don't have time to raise their level, that is what this place is for. Here you send heroes on quests, and that will help raise their level. I just got this one, I wouldn't mind raising her level. And I don't have any- oh, there, I have a rogue. So my rogue can go on this quest. Now just remember that when you put them into their own quest, they cannot enter battle with you. So make sure you do not need them. Going back into dailies. Now I'm going to just jump over onto the world map here and go to here. Because here we have a our mines, which gets us extra stuff, like the coins we need for upgrades, as well as... The arena! Every game needs an arena! So in the arena we have the ticket booth. You collect your tickets, if you have too many, you can't collect them at the moment. Right here you would have the merchants where you would purchase things from the battles you've won. And this is pretty much just the leadership board. Let's get into the arena. Ah, I am level 9, do I want to battle a level 9 person? looks kind of scary. Let's do it. Sets up a challenge for me. Oh, my characters are not level 9. He doesn't have any pets? Oh, he does. They're cult and goblin though. So we will use you and you. Let's level up my goblin hammer. I definitely don't want to go into a level 9 battle with a level 3 weapon. Oop, maxed out. I definitely want to, uh, Level up my armor. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Okay. I feel like this guy's gonna hit hard, so I'm just gonna make sure that I am ready. Now, I find that it's a little hard to get gold in this game. You guys tell me in the comments down below when you play uh, if you had problems getting gold, but uh, the weapons are fairly expensive. Especially for the epic ones that uh, you would definitely want to save up for. So I'm just kind of going with what I've been given. Ooh, I have an elixir. Alright, we 
done the helmet, we just need to do one more, which is the legs. Look at my beautiful, beautiful legs. I'm gonna see if I can't raise my hero's level. No, I don't have any of these. Don't have any of these, can't raise my hero's level. Kinda used them before, didn't, ran out. Uh, see where it says that I'm, I'm kinda in the green. Kinda in the green. Theirs is also level four and seven, so. We, we might have a decent fight here. All right, we're gonna enter this battle. Oh, gosh darn it. See what I mean? My hero is away in a... They're having fun and I need to pick someone else. Her ultimate attack is a healing ability, so let's just take her for now. All right, we're ready for battle. Now, I used to find that uh, attacking the main guy was the best strategy but if you have something against the creatures I would suggest attacking them first oh I get two attacks so let's So first attacker always gets two attacks, and the next attacker gets four. Oh, don't kill my pig. The skeleton bird is pretty cool because it actually heals ya. Going to the main ones and then that one. I'm all healed up again. Now that he doesn't have other people attacking me, I am more likely to win this battle. One, two, and just do one more because it will bring out my ultimate attack, which I will have for next round. Isn't that bird, like, insanely strong? <laughs> Alright, let's use my rage power. Now remember that the female is a healing rage power, so we're gonna use him. Which is grim. Oh my god, that did like hardly anything. God damn it, Grim. Freeze him! Looks like it's gonna be all up to me next round. Oh, no! Skeleton bird for the win! Nobody can defeat me! Except for that one time. Ta-da! So an interesting thing about the arena is actually that you only need to defeat the main guy. If you defeat the main guy, the minions um, disappear in the end. Basically, defeat the main guy, automatic win. But sometimes you have to defeat the minions first because the minions sometimes are OP. Let's go to the ticket booth because we used one, collect it. Our store keeps shaking, shaking. Free chest. Ooh, a gold chest. Nice. What am I thinking? It's always a gold chest. We'll go to our vault. We'll open up our chest. I'll just 
do a quick one. You see, you don't have to wait. Open this one. Let's just quickly enter here just to show you what you could possibly get. So with the uh, merchant rewards, uh, what I'm curious about is if I got this one, is it just a decoration or do am I allowed to bring three swords to battle and choose which one I want to attack with? It does not say, so I do not know. And I have a long way to go to get 500. No thank you. Now I'm just going to go on to this one here. As you can see right beside the two swords is the horns. And the horns is just a raid battle. With the raid battle, like I said before, you do not get any bonuses with it. So your heroes that you would normally go into this one, they do not get any experience. So if you're trying to raise your heroes levels up, I would suggest skipping the raid battles for now and just raising your heroes levels up. Let's go on to a city. Let's go here. This city, you can click on people and fight them, but I would not suggest usually. I mean... Uh, this person's level 23. No thank you! I'm level 9! So as you can see in the swords... Uh, uh, sorry, this is armory. My gosh. Um, the two bottom ones, if you click on the question thing here, they have boosts that you could do, whereas the normal ones that don't cost so much, do not. They can't be ranked up. Same with the swordsmith. These are all of his swords. Cannot be ranked up. I don't think this guy has any good swords. So why buy them? Yeah, you look like you want to sell your stuff, don't you? These guys are so, like, overzealous. Like, buy my stuff! But, as you can see, that's pretty much the gif of the game. Um, what I didn't actually get to find out was how to get new pets which I'm pretty sure is somewhere on this island like this one here I'm pretty sure this right here is where you would get new pets but I'm not 100% sure on that Awesome. Alright everybody, uh, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Twy in game. Spending time with you guys has been amazing. This is Twy, out.